70 some games into the season and you guys haven't played Miami yet. Is this a, a unique situation where you're preparing for a team now this late into the season that you, that you haven't seen yet? Um, yeah, it's unique, but uh, you know, up to this point, they, they got more than enough work for the body of work uh, to know personally what they do. So uh, it's not a game we're going into. Playing. Well, how did you all determine uh, you playing the entire first quarter and kind of? You know, your minutes bleeding into the start of the second um, You know, just working with coach, trying to figure out what's the best. Um, you know, keep rhythm and, um, you know, keep a force out there um, in the first and second uh, quarter. Um, and, and just trying to find minutes uh, where we can get, you know, rest between myself and Russ. That's why, you know, that, that second half, or that, the start of that second quarter, I start out and then Russ comes in. Uh, just trying to find Russ. What does it do for, uh, you know, you, you all play a lot of old bench units, um, but you know, there have been those games where your first season's like Golden State, where, like you and Steven might like, start a quarter. Mm -hmm. What does that do when you've got you and another starter starting with, uh, you know, maybe three bench guys? Um, I mean, we just got to go out there and play. Uh, we, we practice together, we, we play together. Because, you know, everybody can't play you know, at the same time. It's going to be, you know, moments where lineup's going to have to change and, and, and you know, personnel's going to have to change. That's all it is. What is it that you like about playing the whole first? How's, how's it help with rhythm? Um, well, we just, you know, just prefer uh, to, to keep it going um, when I start out in the first quarter. Um, you know, Coach thought it was a good idea. I thought it felt great um, just being out that, that whole 12 minutes, getting going. Um, I'm a guy that, you know, within a game, I, I, the game starts to open up later in the game for me, uh, more so than earlier. Um, so it's just trying to find reads, you know, as the game going on. I think coach realized that. Um, the reason why, you know, he's extended me uh, that whole first quarter. Uh, but it's been working pretty good for us. The other day, Ask Corey about about Terrence and what he can learn from him, and and Corey basically just immediately said like he's going to be much better than me. And you guys have kind of all had like a sentiment of like he's going to be not just like that he works hard, but mm -hmm. Terrence is going to be really really good. Where 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 is it that you all see that that you can kind of say it so adamantly? Like what is it about about Terrence that makes you all so confident that that's going to happen? Um, I I think you know a lot of guys you look at and you notice they have that it factor. And Terrence has that it factor, you know, as, as a, you know, a rookie, a young rookie in this league, he's, he's not afraid, he's not scared of the moment. Um, that stands out, um, and that goes a long ways. He's, he's, he's got all the intangibles, he's got all the skill. Um, he has the potential. I think what sets him apart um, from a lot of rookies is, is he looks like a pro and he has that it factor to him. Well, we see Corey out there pushing the pace in the game, but just out of curiosity, who do you think the fastest guy on the team is? Uh, without the ball, Corey. With the ball, Russ. <laughs> Anybody else? Thank you, PG. Thanks.